Okay, hello guys. Um, this is a C++ tutorial. This is lesson uh, number two. Lesson number one was how to get a compile and how to compile the code. Now I'm going to show you how to download uh, Notepad++, which is a better C++ editor than the regular Notepad that comes with Windows. S Notepad C++ has uh, colors, and so it makes it a lot easier to identify what you're doing. So to download Notepad++, and I'm sorry I'm talking fast because YouTube has this limit of 10 minutes only, so I don't want to waste any time and have my video broke down in two pieces. So open Internet Explorer, Google type Notepad++, do a search, Notepad++, do a search and then uh, go to that to their website called notepad-plus.soundforge.net, uh, click on the download uh, link, look for the download Notepad++ is executable files, and then in here, uh, just go to the process of downloading the file. So we're looking for this npp.4.8.2installer.exe. Click on it, and the system, you know, you're gonna have to, you have to go through the download process. And I don't want to waste any time. I already downloaded, so just download the file, have it on your desktop, and uh, once you have it on your desktop, just double click it and I'll go ahead and I'll do that right now so double click it run just do all just go everything default there's absolutely nothing to change here so you agree next install so let it go through the install and then roll, uh, run notepad plus plus at the end so here we go um, this is a this is a small application we're gonna run right now where I'm gonna create and so Let's talk about, let's start, let's start the uh, C++ application. First thing we're going to do is include the header. So for that, we're going to put pound, we're going to type in pound, include IO stream. Oh, one more thing too. Before we start, go to language and select C++. That's going to, you, uh, that's going to recognize uh, the language that you're going to be using and it's going to use of colors to help you uh, program. So the first thing we need to have to do is enter the header. And uh, the header is uh, what makes C++ a very powerful application. It has uh, functions defined in there, it has memory allocations, and it has a lot of, a lot of other things in as well. Oh, I might as well, I should say that right now, I'm not a C++ uh, programmer, I'm not a professional in C++ programmer. I, I know some VB.net, um, I study that, I use that uh, pretty much on a regular basis, but I don't know much about C++, so um, as you can see. So, but uh, you know, I'll do my best to help. Uh, I'm going to talk about headers uh, later on in a different tutorial. Another thing that we have to use here is using name space standard. This is name. This is something else that I'm going to talk about in a in a different tutorial. For now, just type in every time you you start your application. Integer main function. This is necessary. In the C++ application, that's it tells it tells the compiler where the program starts. So always this is this is uh, this is uh, necessary. Okay, um, integer main open brackets. Now we can start programming. Okay, what I'm going to do here is define two variables. And when you define a variable, you have to define what type of variable. Um, and we do that so then the system knows how much memory allocation it needs for each one of the variables. So we're going to define two integer variables in here. And to do that, we're just going to type in the words, uh, the letters int, space, x, comma, y, colon, to terminate that. So I'm declaring two um, integers, one x, one's y. Uh, we could have done this in the same way, integer um, y and x, as long as you terminate with a colon. And this is the same thing as I did earlier. In C++, it's all, C++ is all about making the code as compact as possible. So let's, you know, follow that. And let's put a colon x. Okay. Now, here is um, a line of code called C out, which is console output. And what this does, it displays messages onto the screen. So what we're going to ask the user here is to enter a number. And every time we write something something that we want to be displayed, we have to use the, uh, the semicolon, uh, the quotation marks. So I always use the quotation marks. So enter a number and another quotation mark and the semicolon to finish. And 
now we're we're gonna wait. For, we have we have we have to assign um, the number that the user is gonna use to a variable, and for that we're gonna use the cn, which is console input, and we're going to assign that to x. Okay, semicolon. Skip two lines just to make the code clear. Now we're gonna display another message called C output, and then we're gonna ask the user to enter another another number, and that number is going to be the Y variable. Okay, so whatever whatever number the uh, user inputs is, gonna, is going to become the Y variable. And now we're gonna display the result. So C output and then colon the result addition is colon space quotation and I'm gonna keep going here just by using two of this uh, lesser than signs in here I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna put my uh, my uh, uh, formula here which will be x plus y colon to terminate the application, I'm going to type in return zero. So then I'm telling the operating system to that the application terminated normally, and I'm going to close it with brackets. Well, very good. So let's go ahead and save this. So to save, we're going to save as um, whatever file name you want. Dot cpp. I'm going to save that into my cp folder in here. Test dot cpp. Click save. If you don't know what I'm doing here, I recommend you watching my first tutorial, which explains this. Okay? Uh, click Save, and yes. What I'm going to do now is open my MS-DOS window here. Command, Orlin, CC55. So, okay, so now I'm going to compile that uh, test.ccp file by using CC bcc32 uh, test.cpp and you compile without errors and so what I'm going to do now I'm going to run that I'm going to run this little application that uh, we have just created I'm going to type in test and there you go the first thing that pops up is the enter number this this part integer x and y this is uh, something that happens in the background of the program so there's no output whatsoever and so this is what's going on now console output enter a number so that already happened so what's going on now the system is waiting for this input so it's waiting for a number to be inputted and that number is going to become X so you go I'm going to type 10 press enter and now it's asking me to enter another number and uh, it's this line right here and it says enter another number and now it's waiting for my Y variable and I'm going to enter number 4 and what's going to happen after that is that it's going to execute this line of code which is, I'll show you. So you just click enter, and there you go. The result addition is 14. So it's going to say the result addition is x plus y. Since x was 10 and y was a 4, then the result was 14. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's run it one more time. Test. I'm going to enter 34. Another number 6. Your result addition is 40. So. Hopefully that this helped. It's a very, very basic application, much better than Hello World, because that's really overrated. So uh, if you liked it, uh, please comment, and um, keep uh, stay tuned for the, the next tutorials. Take care. Thanks.